What? Hine, 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 hine. Hey, go, go, go. Das ist so hart. Oh, ich gut fisch, gut fisch, Gold. Yes, look at that. Got ya. Go in. Ah, ah, well, yeah, yeah. What is going on doggies? Welcome back to another video. All right, this is what's going on. Right now we are in the middle of a mangrove system. It is sand fly and mosquito ridden in here. I'm getting eaten alive, but we're here for a reason and we're gonna stick around until we get what we come for. We're gonna use this bow and this arrow, just a plain arrow, just for shooting targets, nothing special. We're gonna use this bow we are gonna to try to plug a couple of big dirty mullet on the rising tide. So let's go and see if we can sink a couple of arrows into some big juicy mullet. Chuck them on a fire a little bit later on. See how we go. We've got absolutely no food. We've got nothing. We've got a backpack, a Leatherman, and um, a couple of cameras. So let's see how we go today. It's gonna to be a big day. We've got a really quick tide change in and out really fast. So we're gonna make the most of that high tide. Let's dig in, see, see if we can sink a couple of arrows in a couple of these fish. Here we go, there's a mullet right there. Oh, you're kidding me. How did I not hit that? You're joking. First shot. Fail shot. Now I gotta get my arrow back. Oh, here we go. Let's try that again. You mongrel. Alright, we have just missed our first fish for the day. Haven't been here for no more than five minutes. We've already plugged one or seen one, we didn't plug it. But what I'm doing is I'm actually waiting for the tide to come up. That's why I'm using a standard arrow. I'm not using a bow fishing arrow. Where I'm standing right now, this whole entire bit of land, this little mangrove flat is gonna be under about 100 mil, 200 mil of water. That is when I wanna start hunting. What's gonna happen is the tide's gonna push up. As that tide pushes up, these little mangrove flats, they fill up with water. The big mullet, they come in here, they come in here for shelter. They also come in here for a feed. So as that, that water pushes up, it's gonna give me an opportunity to come in, sniper, we're gonna sneak around these mangroves, we're gonna be super quiet. That's not one of my strong points. If you watch my videos, I am loud as hell. But I'm gonna to try to shut up. We're gonna sneak around, hopefully put a couple of arrows through a few fish. And the reason that this arrow should work in this shallow water is that there's not too, many, too much chance of it swimming off because it's only gonna be about this deep. So it's pretty much pull back the bow, have a crack. If you, if you um, shoot the fish, run, pick it up. That's the aim of the game anyway. But we've got about an hour to an hour and a half before that tide starts pushing up. So I'll just keep playing around in those little creeks. We'll go for a big explore. We'll just um, wait for that tide. That's pretty much what we're doing. Come on, mate. Have a look at this. Out there is a beautiful little sea snake. Extremely, extremely venomous snake. His, fang, his mouth isn't big enough to hurt me though, but that's a beautiful little sea snake. He was just stuck up here on the mud, so I don't know if he's been here on the last tide change or what, but he's a beautiful little sea snake, look at that. He's just cruising around here looking for a feed, or well, he will be in a minute once we put him back in the water. Come on, mate. There you go. Go back and do your thing. Have a look at that little fella. Go on, mate. Back in the water. There he goes. Awesome, awesome little creature.
All right, this is what's going on now. Changing plans once again. The water's still coming in. Probably got about another 40 minutes before it fully floods up to where I want to be able to use in the original arrow. So I've just walked all the way back to the troopy and I've got a bow fishing arrow. So this is a proper bow fishing arrow. The only problem is I don't have a reel and I don't have line for my bow. So what I've done, I've just got a bit of 50 pound monofilament fishing line. Probably, I don't know, there's probably about 10 meters there. And um, I'm just gonna cur curl it up down near my feet and I'll see if I can whack a fish because they're sitting really far across the other side of the river right now. So um, we'll see if we can plug one from the other side with this. Um, unfortunately, this line sinks, which is gonna be a pain, but we'll just see how we go. But there are a couple, I can actually see them from here on the other side of the creek there. So let's go back into stealth mode, sneak in there, see if we can get one of these fish. I'm just really just waiting for that tide to push up so I can go shoot them with a standard arrow, but this is still gonna be super fun. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. Fish on, fish on. Oh, no, no, no. Yes, fish on, fish on, fish on. All right, we've got a fish on here. Long distance shot. Yes. Fish on, baby. Oh, it's just, it's just hooked in. Don't, 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 don't. There we, ow, 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 ow. There we go. There's a mullet, we got one. Hi, yi, yi. Long distance shooting. Straight through the guts, have a look at that. Boost him. Yeah, we got one. Look at that, they're gone already. Just from me, just from me, drawing back on the bow, they take off into the deep water. That's how spookish and scary these fish are. We're gonna have to go full sniper mode and um, see if we can get one of these fish in. Oh, I think that's fish on. There we go. That's fish on. That is what I'm talking about right there. Boom. Well, it worked like a treat. The very, very first bloody shot. Have a look at this. That is a lovely mullet straight through perfectly got him like that's a dead center shot beautiful little mullet that's going straight on the fire and um we'll see if we can get a couple more he's not huge but beautiful eating straight on the coals very simple way of cooking these fish that's going to taste beautiful we'll see if we can get a couple more there's a couple of big dogs in there they're way on the other side of the river but hey look at that we got one beautiful Here we go, have a look at this little fella. There's another one of those snakes. This one's a little bit different. His doesn't have such a wide tail. You can see his tail. Oops, sorry mate. His tail is not as thick as the other one, so it's obviously a different snake. But this is what they do. They just cruise around on these muddy flats, stick their heads in all these little holes, see if there's any food in there for them. Awesome little creatures. Just out here, living his best life in the mangroves. Good on you, mate. Look at this place. This place is insane. Big, muddy flats. It is full of fish, but not the fish that I want to target. 
There are brim, there's trumpeter, there's garfish, there's every kind of fish under the sun swimming around, swimming around under my feet right now. But the mullet, they are so, so sketchy. As soon as you make a noise, as soon as you drag your feet through the water, they're gone. They are literally just, they're just gone. So I'm gonna have to go back up, walk back through that mangrove system, go find some dry land and um, try to shoot them from up on the dry land down. But look, we've got three fish now. I'm pretty stoked with that. We've got three fish. That is more than enough for a feed, but I wouldn't mind getting a couple more mullet for a bit of bait because tomorrow we're going out mud crabbing and um, mullet are a beautiful oily fish. So if we can get a couple more for bait tomorrow, that would be incredible. But I'll just keep trudging around. Hopefully we can pick up one or two more, but I'm getting pretty hungry. So I might go start up a fire and have a feed. Been a good day so far it is this has got to be one of the best ways to hunt fish the most enjoyable way anyway it is in my opinion it is so so epic all right there is a mullet sitting right under this bush here Go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yes! There you go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Whoo! That is what we come for, boys and girls. Hey, there's that fish I was just stalking. Literally, I've been sitting in this bush probably for about half an hour, and we nailed him. Yeah, boy, we're eating good. <laughs> and the plan worked better than ever. Hold on a sec. Let's chuck that bow and arrow in a tree. There you go, that is a mullet straight on a spear. It's gone straight through a top there, out the back there, perfect shot. And um, he's not a bad size little mullet. That's gonna be beautiful chewing straight on the fire later on. I'm going to put him out of his misery as soon as possible, but there you go. That is the fish that I've come for. And, oi! Slippery little sucker. But there he is. That's the fish we come... <laughs> Let's just hold him like this. There's the fish we come for. Beautiful fish. And um, he's going on the fire a little bit later on. I'm going to put him to sleep. We'll keep hunting around. We'll see if we can gather a big feed of these things because this is way too much fun. I would have probably been sitting there just then for... 10, 12 minutes, just sitting, not even making a sound, just watching his movements. He'd swim up, he'd swim back, he'd swim up, he'd swim back, and then every now and then he'd do a little, little dog leg around me, and that was that time he did that little dog leg around me, and then whack, we got him. Beautiful fish. That's what I come out here for, so much fun. Right, we'll go see if we can go get a couple more, and um, see where this afternoon takes us. Epic, 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 epic. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! Have a look at that. It's a harsh, harsh world out here. It's like a sheep skull. Something. Kangaroo skull? I don't know. No idea. But that's what happens if you don't catch enough mullet and have a feed. You know, whimper away into pieces of nothing. Hey, big walk back around this mangrove system. There we go. Have a look at that. That is three beautiful little mullet on the bow and arrow and I am done and dusted. It's over. It's um, the tides have completely changed and it's over. So we got three fish, probably missed about four. I would have had about, I don't know, I only would have had about 10 shots the whole time I was out there doing that. But to be honest, I didn't see as many fish as I originally thought I would. But hey, we got three. This one in the middle is actually not a bad size mullet. It's a pretty bloody good, pretty good mullet. That's a beautiful one, that one. So that's the one we're gonna cook up now. Jesus Christ, it's dead and it's still slippery. That's the one we're gonna cook up now. What I'm gonna do, start a fire right here on this bank just to 
just a plain fire. Get a few little, get a few flames pumping, get them coals nice and red. Then we're just gonna put the fire out and drop this fish just like this, straight into the coals. And um, I'll show you why it's so good to cook them like that because it really just gives you that taste of the bush. And that is what I'm all about. So let's go get a little fire started. Cook these up, I'm starving. Have a go at it. What a fun couple of hours trudging through the mangroves. I've got a body full of sandfly bites, but it's pretty crazy. <sighs> yeah, I'm breaking. Anyway, that there is gonna get me a nice little bed of coals so we can cook that beautiful sucker there. And these two little fellas here, I'm gonna use these two for bait, probably in the next episode or two you'll see what i'm going to do with those fish but for now that there is going to feed me like no tomorrow that's quite a good size mullet so let's cook him up just got to wait for these coals to pitter right down into a nice cooking coal but that was really bloody fun with this bow and arrow epic way to go and get fish it's an epic way to go and get a feed This fire is looking absolutely perfect right now. These cooking coals are ideal. So what we're gonna do now, just gonna make a little bed, just like that. We're gonna get this one, the biggest mullet of them all. I'll give him a rinse in this little creek here. We're just gonna drop him straight on top like that. Ah, got me. Couple of hot coals on this stick. And we're just going to fill him up with coals. It's as simple as that. Proper bush cooking. Really good, really effective, really tasty. Just like that. Leave him there for about five minutes, couple of minutes. We'll come back. That is going to be incredible. Have a look at that. These two little fellas here. I wonder if I should eat them, eh? That's quite a lot of food there. We do need these for bait. How's that for a shot? That one, gut shot. This one, straight through, straight through. And this one, shot through the top, out the side. I'm gonna have to pick up the game, get a couple of headshots going on here, but all in all, it's a good day. We've got ourselves a little bit of a feed. I'm happy about that, look at that. All right, so while our beautiful fish is cooking over there, what I've done, I've set up a target. Let's see. I want to get good at this bow fishing, I really do. So I'm going to set up a target and um, let's do it. Five meters, 10 meters, 20 meters. We'll go all the way back, all the way up, probably the other side of that river. See if I can keep hitting that target or not. Got one arrow and um, probably going to lose it, but let's give it a red hot crack. Start here, we'll do like five meters, 10 meters, 20, all the way to over there. See if we can keep hitting it. <laughs> I'm gonna set up this GoPro. I'm gonna set it up here. I'm gonna use the head mount GoPro. All right, I'm probably gonna put a bloody hole in this, in this camera, but we'll leave that one recording and I'm just gonna keep walking back and we'll have cracks. All right, this is probably about the six meter mark. Go. Ha, oh, beautiful. Go. Ha, oh, beautiful. Oh, this is a long shot. I don't even know how far this is, but let's give it a red hot crack. Here we go. Oh my God, I actually hit it. Oh my God, I actually hit it. Ha! Mate, this is a long shot. If I can hit that, I can go rabbit hunting. Here we go. Oh, wow. That was between the GoPro and the bit of wood. Here we go. Oh, wow. All right, here we go, across the creek. This is a massive shot. I don't know if you guys can see that target way down there. Here we go, across the creek. This is a long shot. Probably gonna put a hole in my GoPro. I'll do it for you guys. 
Oh, that's not very good. Look, that little thing come off. Oh well, who cares? Here we go. I'm definitely gonna lose that thing, but let's have a crack at this target. Oh, that was about half a meter to the right. And I reckon I just lost that arrow. Oh well, we'll have a look. Well, we got the arrow back. That wasn't too bad. All right, this fish should be done. I've been out in the bush playing a little bit too long, but let's have a look here. Oh no, we're gonna be good. We're gonna be real good. That's gonna be hot. Oh, have a look at that. That is cooked actually to perfection. See how those scales are all bending back like that? That means that skin is just gonna peel off perfectly like that. That's good. That's real good. Right, uh, this is gonna be our little bush plate just to keep that fish up off of the sand. Let's grab him. Now it looks like it's covered in charcoal and it doesn't look edible, but that fish underneath this skin is gonna be perfectly cooked. Beautiful white meat, have a look at that. Scales just flick off. You don't get any, by cooking it like this, you don't get any sand, you don't get any grit, anything. That skin is like a natural airfoil. I'm starving, this is gonna be good. Look at this. Look at that white, beautiful white meat there. To dig into this fish. So mullet is a very unique tasting fish, in my opinion anyway. It's got a very weird texture. Beautiful white meat. You can see how white that meat is there. It's incredibly white. I love eating mullet. People laugh at me because it's like sold as fishing bait, but it is an oily, beautiful, delicious fish. And you cook it like this on the coals, like it's cooked perfectly. There's no, it's not chewy, it's not too raw. It's just bloody beautiful. What a bloody good day. If you guys ever get the chance, pick yourself up a bow and arrow, go out into the bush by yourself, and just explore. It is, it's the best thing you can possibly do. I, I love it, it's the best thing. By no means am I a professional at shooting bow and arrows, by no means am I a bloody bow fisherman or whatever you wanna call it, but did I have fun? Yes, and that is what it is all about, man. If you're having fun, who, yeah, who cares, man? That's what it's all about. So today was super fun. And I'm, I'm gonna love yous and leave yous. What I'm gonna do now is finish that little bit of fish that I got left off there, go back to the car, get a handful of arrows, and I'm just gonna lay arrows into that bit of wood until the sun sets because, look, why wouldn't you? We're in the middle of nowhere. It'd be rude not to. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video from wherever we are. Much love, thank you for watching, and I'll definitely see you guys in the next video. Ow! Literally running back to the car to get those arrows so we can keep shooting that bit of wood. But if you guys want to grab your merch, one of these hats, one of these long sleeve fishing shirts, a hoodie, whatever you guys want, smash this button here. Subscribe here if you haven't because um, we're just going to keep making videos on this channel. And I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Ow!